But gun owners I spoke with say the ban is a slippery slope. We designed this piece right here that fits on to the gun like that. Dewey Weaver is a and master I gunsmith. Put a amount of scope on it without altering the original style yes. of the weapon. He knows a whole lot about firearms and how to modify them. I've installed bump stocks on guns before. Bump stocks allows a shooter to fire as many as 400 to 800 rounds a minute with a single squeeze of the trigger. So when you pull the trigger, the firearm will recoil. And since you got a, it's got a shield on either side, and when it recoils, it picks your finger up off the trigger, and when it resets, it just moves fast and it causes it to fire real fast. The Trump administration has officially banned bump stocks. As an Army vet, Weaver says he doesn't know why a civilian would need one. The devices were used to kill 58 people in Las Vegas, the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history. You can't uh, fix the problem because by taking uh, uh, bump stocks and guns away from honest, law-abiding citizens, the criminals are going to find some way of getting them regardless. Weaver feels the bump stock ban is slowly taking away our Second Amendment rights, and other firearm enthusiasts agree. I don't particularly like the uh, the bump stock. In it's, it's it's not really a practical piece of equipment, but I'm very much against any kind of modification to our Second Amendment rights. Bump stock owners have 90 days to turn them into an ATF field office or destroy them by March 1st. Instructions on proper destruction of bump stocks are posted on our website, rocketcitynow.com. Putting the Valley first, Rebecca Petit, WCDX News.